Hey guys, ADHD here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build this awesome Christmas Enderman. He looks very festive if you ask me. He's trying to drop off his present at someone's place right now. He's got a scarf on, his Santa hat. He is ready to go and so are we. So I'm gonna be showing you how to build this right now. So for this build, you're going to need black wool, you're going to need purple wool, magenta wool, block of gold, red wool, white wool, and also green wool. That's actually all we're going to need for this build. And if we need anything else, I'll let you guys know, but I think that's all we're going to need. But anyway, let's go and get started. All right guys, so getting started, we're gonna start with the black wool. If you guys need me a huge favor and hit that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. And if at any point in this video you guys feel like I'm going too fast, you can always pause or rewind it in order to catch up. But anyway, again, we're going to start the black wool. And we're going to go and make a full row going straight up of a total of 27 black wool, guys. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27, just like that. And then drop straight down to the floor. And then you're gonna do three more of those, just basically making this like two by two block, just going straight up basically. And all you have to do is just take them all the way up. You don't have to count them because you already counted the first one. So as long as you know the first one's 27, all we have to do is to add four to it, just or add three actually to the sides of it, just like this. Okay, so just making it to a leg. All right, so you should have four rows connected that are all 27 blocks high, just like this. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to skip over to the right here. We're going to start on this leg. Go to the right, a total of two blocks, so or three blocks. One, two, three. On that third block, you're going to go up by 27 again. So that's one. And always you really just go all the way up until it matches the other side. So I'm just taking mine all the way up like this. And then when I see it matches up just like that, we're good. And then we have to do it again three more times just like we did in that leg. So over here, go all the way up the same way. And then as soon as you get up here, I just have to press the A button twice or whatever you use to fall down and just fall all the way back down and just do it again, just like that, okay? And then one more. See, if I do like that, it's a little bit more messed up. I try to like do it as I go down, but it's a little bit like, I don't know, it doesn't work the same. So I just do it on the way up. All right, boom, just like that. So now we have our two legs. So now that we have his legs done, all we're gonna do now is we're gonna do his torso. Okay, now that we have the legs done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on his torso. So what I want you guys to do is basically cover up this entire leg area with one whole like row basically, or one whole like section, just like this, all right? And then go around that entire thing with one row. Just so make sure it's out the legs basically by one, just like so, all right? And then what I want you guys to do is on all four corners, go up by a total of 10 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Over here, same thing. One, two, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It should be the same size, okay? And then do the back ones as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then this one as well. One, oops. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just like that, okay? And then what I would just do is go ahead and connect all those, just like this. All right. And that's what his torso should look like, but we're just gonna fill everything in. Obviously his, his torso should not be empty, just like that, but it mean the size of it should be just like this. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill all this in just like this. So go to the front and take it back and forward just like this. It doesn't really matter how you do it, just, you know, whatever way works best for you. You wanna go up and down or you can go side to side like this. All right, and then do this side as well. You just want to take it all the way through. And then after this, we can do his arms and then his head. And then we can do the accessories last. See, the Enderman himself is not very difficult at all. It's the accessories are more difficult than anything. Even the accessories aren't that hard. Maybe just the hat. The hat is probably the hardest part. But that, again, I will work through with you guys, like, step by step. So even that's pretty easy. But, you know, if, you were to pick, if I were to pick something that was the hardest part, that would be at the hat for sure. But it's not that hard. All right. So now we have that done. All we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and fill in the top real quick here just like this because it doesn't really matter if you're going to turn this into a house then yeah this matters but if you're not like i'm not you're just gonna fill that in but anyway that's it for that part let's get started on his arms okay so for his arms they're not difficult but it's just kind of hard to explain more than anything so watch what i'm doing here so we're gonna come over to the right side and of course in the four top like the top two center blocks we're gonna bring them out by one and then go down by one and then bring it out one more time so just basically put this two by two square on the side of the the top of the center block of the top. Again, it's hard to explain, but you guys see what I did there. All right, and then what I want you guys to do is you're gonna create like a like a V type shape, just like this. This is just like that. It's hard to explain. It really is. I hate. Same thing about the spider. Where I built the spider house. It was hard to explain. It's just literally like this L or V that attaches to that square. 
okay so that's one right there we're gonna do 14 of there of these so that's one right there we still have 13 left so this will be right here we'll, so we'll just count to 13 well, well that's already one right there so count to 13 from here but it should be 14 long right so this is one just like that then two then three and again this is what it looks like guys it should be looking like this as we're going down all right then four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen okay but again including this first turn right here that's 14 so from this like don't count this square right here this square does not matter everything past here there should be four of these shaped things like four of these like v-shaped things all the way down our front 14 if i'm not four i mean 14 14 to those v-shaped items just going all the way down all right sorry like i said that part was hard for me to explain i had the same issue i did the spider house the same exact problem it's just hard to explain it's not difficult at all it's just weird explaining it all right so now that we have that one done you should know what you're doing now a little bit so now we're gonna do it on this side so over here same thing make our square just like this boom and then again 14 of those v-shaped things just like this so that's one two three four oops four five six it's more annoying than anything it's not very difficult like i said seven eight nine ten 11 12 13 and 14 my gosh that is freaking annoying all right so now we have that done that should be 14 just like that okay so now that we have that done you just don't worry because that's the most annoying part of the whole build not the most difficult but the most annoying part so we have that out the way let's go and get started on his head Okay, so for his head, just like any Minecraft mob, it's going to be an 8x8 eight eight square. But what we're going to do is we're going to start by this whole platform right here, excluding his arms. We're going to do one layer of black wool just like this. All the way across this entire area. Alright. And then you're going to make sure you come off by two on the front, and you come off by two in the back. So we're off by two in the front. Now let's go to the back. We should be off by two back here as well. All right, and then we're starting the front and we're gonna work our way up for the Enderman's eyes. And then after that, it's just a black square pretty much. So the next row in the front here is gonna be all black wool. Then our third row is gonna be all black wool again. Then our fourth row is gonna be one magenta wool, one purple wool, one magenta wool, two black wool, one magenta wool, one purple wool, one magenta wool. And then four rows of black wool, just like this. So that's two three and four just like that okay then what I want you to do is come to the back corner right here the back two like uh, ends and go up by a total of seven blocks guys so one two three four five six seven and that should be the same size as the front all right and the back same this side too one two three four five six seven and then connect the front to those two uh, beams we just made all right just like so and then connect the back as well and then all we're gonna do now is we're just gonna fill in the sides with the black wool as well. And then after that, we get to the actual festive part, which is like right now, if you want just to make an Enderman, you, 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 you got one, so <laughs> you can chill out if you just want an Enderman. But if you want to build a whole, like, you know, Christmas Enderman, which is the whole point of the video, then I will show you how to add the actual accessories right now. But let's just finish this up real quick. So we have this side, we have to do this side right here. And the top of it, you really don't have to fill in if you don't want to, because we're going to be building the Christmas hat up there in a little bit anyway. Um, but if you want to, you can. I'm going to fill mine in just because, like, I have, like, minor OCD that I would, like, kind of be annoyed knowing that it's, like, empty right here. And that the hat's on top of an empty head. So I'm going to fill mine in. Okay. So now that we have this done, we're going to start from, our, from the bottom work our way up. So we're going to start with the present, then we're going to do the scarf, then we'll do the hat last. Okay, so for the present, we're going to start out by designing it using the gold blocks and the red wool. And as you can see, the gold kind of works like a ribbon around the whole present, so we're going to start with that first. So, come into the hands here, get your four, like, these four blocks here, 
and it had four gold just like that okay so just basically take his hand and put like two symbols in him I guess you could say just like this all right so now that you have those on both sides of them are both the top and bottom of these I want you guys to go up a total of three blocks so one two three then one two three then down here one two three one two three same thing on this one come to the top add three one two three one two three come to the bottom one two three I have trouble here <laughs> one two three and then go and connect those to each other just like this okay that way it doesn't require any counting you just got to connect them all right and then connect the tops as well boom just like that oops not like that all right I'm having a lot of accuracy issues right now all right just like that and then on the middle of these so basically find the center which is these two blocks right here if you want to make sure you're in the center all I have to do is make sure there's three blocks on both sides of the two you're counting and then come right here and add three going out one two three one two three just like this on this side same thing one two three one two three come to the bottom do the same thing one two three one two three this side as well one two three one two three and then connect the bottom to the top just like we did the sides all right and then the back as well all right so now we have the whole ribbon done all we're gonna do is with the red wool now and we're just gonna connect those so basically just make the red into a full flesh like square just like this so once you have that you're just gonna take all the red and you're just gonna complete the square so like right now you have like a frame of a square kind of so now we're just gonna fill all that in with the red wool and I'll do this corner right now so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to do the whole thing, but I'm saying like I'll show you these, this exact corner so you can see. It's literally just a square. It just kind of sounds more complicated than it is. All right. Then over here, same thing. Just going to fill this in. Then do my side over here. I'm not sure if I'm going to do Christmas music in this video or not. I'm thinking about it. I wish I, I had already built it so I couldn't do it again, but like, well, I could have done it again, but I didn't really want to build it like a fourth time because like, I build all the builds you guys see. I build them like technically, like I build a rough draft, then I build a final version, and then I build the one that comes into this world, and then I build the one I'm building right now. So technically, I build all the stuff you guys see at least four times by the time you guys see it. So, well, it depends. Sometimes I do it less, sometimes it's more. It just depends on the circumstance. Sometimes like I build it and then I keep messing around with it until it comes out the way I want it to. It just depends, but. You know, I just really don't want to build it again like a fifth time, so I decided just not to do it. But I wanted to build it on a snow map, but um, maybe the next couple builds will be. So after that, we do this last uh, last little section here. But I'm not sure if I'm about Christmas music in the video yet. I don't know. I feel like December is the perfect time to start doing Christmas stuff, but I still feels like Christmas is still so far away. But it's really not that far away. It's actually like pretty soon, like 20, a little bit more than 20 days, something like that. So now that we have this filled in, all we have to do is we have to make our ribbon. So take these four center blocks, bring them up, then go around those just like this one more time. Basically making it a four by four square in the center. Then get two blocks and put them like that. All right, so that's our ribbon for our top of our present just like this. And you can change that up any way you guys would like. If you want to change it completely, you can. If you don't want to, you can leave it the same. Either way, it doesn't matter. So that's the present. Let's go ahead and start on his scarf. So for the scarf, you're gonna need the red wool and you're going to need green wool. So you can start wherever you want, really. I'm gonna start mine right here. I'm gonna put a red wool right here. And then going this way, we're gonna do green. So it's gonna be green. Then you're gonna do red, but you're gonna work around this arm because obviously the, you know, the arm will block the scarf that was there. Then we're gonna come over here and just go back to green, just like this. And then one, don't go to the back, guys. Don't go to the back yet. We're gonna start on this side. And I'll tell you why in a second because we're gonna have to do two of the same color eventually, but not yet. So now start keep continuing going that way. It's gonna be green, then red, then green, then red, then green, then red, then green, then red, then green. And then coming back over here, it's gonna be starting in red now. Red, then green. Now we're gonna go to the back. So it's gonna be red, then green, red, and then stop when you're like kind of in the middle-ish and then continue this one. I'll, sh again, I'll show you why right now. So red, then green, then red, then green. Then it's gonna be red. Then wow, actually it didn't have to do that, Never mind. On the original one I built for some reason, I guess I did something different. I had to end up using the red twice in the middle here. I don't know what I did differently that time, but apparently I didn't need to do it this time. So we're good, Never mind. ignore what I said. You can just go all the way around if you want to, but it really doesn't matter as long as you get the scarf all the way around. And then once you've done that, go ahead and pick any two colors right here. I'm going to pick these ones, basically the, the second red right here. 
All right, uh, what I'm gonna do basically is take that all the way down until I get, um, I don't know, I'm not gonna count it. I'd say maybe three blocks away from his torso, like that, maybe four. And then the same thing on the green, but stop when you get one block away from the red. Just like that. Okay. Boom, that's a scarf right there. That looks pretty good if you ask me. He looks pretty festive just like that. It looks like a Christmas caroler. So we're gonna go ahead and add his hat now. Okay, so for his hat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to where basically one block above his, two blocks above his eye actually. So this is the black wool right here. And then one block up and you're gonna get the white wool and you're gonna go around his entire head like this is the white wool. He's going completely around. Kind of like a, like a crown. And we're gonna take this all the way around with the white wool. And you have to make sure you're following closely with me on this hat because it is a little bit more difficult than you know the other stuff we've done so far. Then we're gonna do two rows of red wool. So two rows going around. It's basically going out of the way to it matches up the same height as his head with the red wool, just like this. All right, and then we got one more row to do. Just like this. And then right here. If you want like a Russian soldier Enderman, there you go. He's almost pretty much there. <laughs> you can just leave it like that, but we're gonna continue on. So the next row is gonna be, you're gonna go in one block, just like this, around the whole thing, and we're gonna go with the red wool again. Again, guys, make sure you're paying close attention to the actual hat this time, because again, this is not something I want you guys to freehand, um, because this is something that's kind of hard to do. It's like, not hard, but it's just hard to follow sometimes. And I'm just saying that because it was hard for me to do it. <laughs> it took me a long time to, I, I, there was like, that was probably the thing that took me the longest to come up with a hat. I made like probably like freaking 20 hats before I got that one. So now that we have this one, that's two rows. Then our next row guys is gonna be a little bit different. I want you guys to fill in the entire thing with any block really besides red. And you're not gonna see this, so don't worry about it. It's just so we can distinguish our hats differences just like this, okay? So just fill this up with any color real quick. And then what you want you guys to do is basically take the red wool all the way till you're two blocks away basically. So you're gonna be leaving one row of green here for my example, whatever color you used here. So I'm gonna fill all this in with red, just like this, again, going in by one block. And that should leave me when I'm done with one row of green that's not covered yet, okay? So remember that. So again, one row of red wool that's not, or one row of green that's not covered. So it should be right there. And then now we can remove this, just so you guys know exactly where we stopped, all right? Then our next row is gonna be the exact same shape, but it's gonna be in one on the left here. So we're gonna go in one, and then we're gonna continue the same exact size and everything, but it's gonna come out by one. So exact same thing, we just shifted over one block. Okay, and let me back up real quick so you guys want to, you can pause it if you need to, take a look at everything we got here. All right, just like that guys, not too complicated. And here's what the final form should look like. So this one I think is three blocks and it matches up perfectly, okay? So come over here real quick. And these final three blocks, we're just gonna fill in like this. We're gonna take them all the way till it gets to the end. Okay, just like that. Sorry if I'm a little bit quiet because I'm really trying to focus right now on getting this, getting this right for you guys. So the next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna go in one block in the front. And then you're gonna do kind of like that V shape we did on the arms around this edge right here. And then bring this left block over here by one. And we're gonna take this all the way, the same exact shape, all the way to our one block in on this side. And like I said, again, sorry if I'm a little bit quiet right now because I really wanna make sure I get this right. And I think this one is just, yeah, just literally a little like piece right here, okay? So we're just gonna take this piece right here and bring it out by one. So center it up with this piece right here. We're gonna bring it out by one row like this. And then we're gonna get a white wool and you're gonna make a two by two square basically. All right, and I hope that was easy to follow guys. I know that was kind of a little bit difficult, kind of, I don't know, but it was just, I was trying to explain it the best I could. I think, yeah, that's exactly how it should look, but I hope the, the explanation was good. But anyway, you can always go back and follow it in slow motion if you need to. If my commentary was not helpful, you can put it in slow motion if you need to or do whatever you need to. But I hope that was helpful, you guys. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. I'm gonna have other Christmas, other Christmas video coming out, coming out as the, you know, December goes on. If you have any Christmas builds you guys want me to do, leave it down below. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new here, definitely subscribe. If you guys can hit that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. Favorite the video, share it, all that great stuff. That would be awesome. But anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Adios.